Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. Now, I am excited about this video, per the huge, but I'm excited because you guys, like I am in, I don't even wanna say rare form, but like, like raw and uncut. Do you see this? Do you see what I'm giving you? Okay. Like I don't have on any makeup and truth be told, like 90% of the time I look like this, but I am so excited about this video. And I told you guys that it was coming just like Friday's coming. <laughs> no, but seriously, I told you guys that this video was coming. Now I have talked about my skincare regimen on my channel so many times, but I always get a lot of questions. Like, why do I use what I use? And like, how do I use it? And yada, 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 this and so. And I have like quite a few videos on it, like how I mix my exfoliant, um, how I mix my mask. I do understand that the older a video gets, depending on what it is and what people are searching for, it can tend to get buried in like the YouTube archives, okay? So then I have to tell you guys, I have a video, I have a video. And not only that, like the quality is not like the quality on today. So I figured I would come on here, I would address some of your questions, I would go through my regimen really, really quickly, and I would show you how I came up with this regimen and I will show you how to pick your own skincare regimen. And so I know this intro is a bit like lengthy, but it is very needful and let me tell you why. And you can apply this to makeup videos as well as skincare videos. I want you guys to understand that when someone shares their regimen with you or when they share their makeup techniques, it doesn't mean that you have to do exactly what that person says do. They're just giving you ideas or tips and tricks or things that have worked for them, okay? So you take that information from what we put out there and then either you try it and see how you like it or you do your research and see if you want to do it just like that or if you want to kind of tweak the regimen a little bit and I want to encourage you to do that because the way that I came up with my skincare regimen is totally from watching YouTube videos and from doing very 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 thorough research for example if you're looking for a mask because you have oily skin and you want to detox then in the Google search you will put in detoxifying mask for oily skin or you can type in benefits from using olive oil or benefits on the skin from using grapeseed oil or grapeseed oil benefits on the skin. You know what I mean? Like just modify your search over and over until you get the information that you're seeking. I'm also going to touch on this really, really quickly. I know that this is a beauty channel. Well, I put some of everything on here, but CK Beauty, beauty channel, right? So I know it's a beauty channel and I know that we focus on, you know, makeup and product reviews and using this foundation and using this eyeliner and, you know, enhancing your beauty and yada, yada, yada. But the truth of the matter is we want to feel confident when we're not wearing any makeup. You know what I mean? We want to have a good canvas to start with because I'm going to tell you right now, if your canvas is bomb, nine times out of 10, your foundation or your makeup is gonna be that much more bomb. That is if you know what you're doing and you apply it right, okay? And also when your skin is looking good and when your skin is looking healthy, you feel at your best. Honestly, you do because when I had hormonal acne, that definitely, definitely affected my self-esteem. I'll go into all that on another video, so I'm not gonna waste your time on that now. So in a nutshell, I am bringing you my regimen in hopes to help you figure out a regimen for you. I love giving you guys informational videos, especially videos that can really help you in the long run, not just talking about a product that's kind of gonna go out of style or nobody's gonna be talking about in the next like 10 days, you know what I'm saying? So real quick, I do have my computer here because I have some information on here from when I used to speak at the vitamin shop. So how I started this document was how to achieve a beautiful canvas, right? Because even when you're doing art, Starting off with the right canvas is very important. So these are the basic steps, okay? And then from the basic steps, we're gonna get into what I use on my face. I hope this video is not too long, but if it is, y'all forgive me in advance because it's good stuff, I promise, okay? So the first thing, you wanna cleanse your face daily, one to two times. I know a lot of people that do not cleanse their face twice a day, but I personally like to cleanse my face twice a day. I'm not gonna lie though, sometimes I don't do it twice a day, but then my skin is like, what you doing, did you forget? Did you you forget what we worked out did you forget the agreement that we had and then use a good toner and a moisturizer just because you have oily skin do not think that you are not to moisturize your skin i also have on here to exfoliate at least once a week I exfoliate three times a week, okay? They also have daily exfoliants that you can use or daily scrubs, but for me, three times works well and I make my own exfoliant. And then also I have use a beauty mask once a week. They have masks that you can use more than once a week. Once a week works for me. Everybody can benefit from this step. Drink water. 
water. Now, I am not a doctor, but I do know that we cannot survive this life without water. So that means that water is very important. And I try to drink like a gallon a day. Most of the time I end up making a half a gallon, but I at least set that goal so that I'm drinking more throughout the day. And then listen to your skin to find out what it likes. Okay. And I know that sounds funny, but I promise you, once you start practicing this regimen or putting a regimen in place, your skin will begin to let you know, Hey, you can't use that because it sucks the moisture out or Hey, you can't use that. It's a little too hydrating and it makes you too oily. Like you have to try things out to know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So now we are going to get into the products that I use for my skincare regimen, which it's not a lot. And I've been doing this since 2011. As I go through the different products is I will tell you why I made the decision to use the products that I'm using, but all these items you will be able to find fairly easy. All right. So first things first, cleanse your face. And I use the Aveeno clear complexion foaming cleanser with salicylic acid blemish treatment. It helps prevent breakouts for clear, even looking skin with soy extract. So what made me choose this cleanser is the fact that it's foaming number one. Okay. And for some reason, I just love foaming cleansers because it feels like they're just so lightweight. You know what I mean? And then this one is not that harsh. Now I've used things like, um, what is it? Clear seal, clean and clear Neutrogena, even though Neutrogena is not like super harsh. Some of those cleansers actually left my skin feeling kind of itchy. Like after I use it, I just felt like, dang, it's like so dry or it's like pulling and it just kind of tends to itch or get a little irritated. And so that was like a flag to me, a red flag, like that's not working out for you. Okay. Especially if I'm going to use it twice a day, I need something that's not as harsh. Like, you know how they say milk does a body good? Aveeno does my skin good. <laughs> the next thing that I use after I wash my face is I always tone my face. Now, the reason that I tone my face after doing research, and I'm kind of paraphrasing here, but after doing research, when you use a toner, it brings your skin back to its natural pH balance. Okay. Cause there is, I don't even know what the normal pH balance is for our skin and which hazel has properties in it that brings it back to its natural pH balance from what I research, but y'all do y'all research and make sure. Okay. Cause this was like, some years ago, but this is what I like to use. Now, a lot of questions that I get about my toner is, does it matter which, which hazel you use? Now, over the years, all I've used was the Dickinson's original witch hazel pore perfecting toner. 100% all natural. So I get mine from Walgreens and that's the only place I know to get it. Some people are telling me that they have it at Walmart too, but I haven't seen it there yet. But I went to Walgreens one day, right? It so happened that my witch hazel was on sale. So, I could not find it at all, but I was almost out and I was in dire need of witch hazel. So I found this one and of course they made it look like really similar, right? So I found this one. This says compare to Dickinson's witch hazel. It is called studio 35 beauty and it's oil free witch hazel. It's a toner and a cleanser. It gently cleanses and conditions pores. It's non-drying and it's for all skin types. And to be honest with you, you guys can see that I've used a lot of it and it works perfectly fine. So it's up to you. I mean, when these are back in stock and I use this all up, I'm totally going to get this because I don't know, I'm a creature of habit, I guess. And then after that, I use the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen. It says broad spectrum SPF of 15. It is clinically proven to even your tone and your texture. Okay. And it also has, oh, it has soy complex in this as well. And the only reason that I use this moisturizer is because the cleanser was so great. And I'm like, well, let's just try the Aveeno moisturizer. And I've been using it ever since because I love it. And to add a little bit to it, I put a little bit of emu oil in there, which I will get into why I use emu oil in a minute. I actually keep it in this container, but you don't have to do that. You can totally use a moisturizer by itself, or you can just put a little in your hand, put a little oil, rub it in and use it. But for me, every morning, I want to be like doing this whole mixing situation. I'm going to get to the exfoliant too, but since we already brought up the emu oil, I do want to tell you about this. So one thing that was a problem for me was I would have bumps like way under the skin and they would be kind of big. So when I would go to hug somebody and it would kind of, they would touch my face, it hurt like you wouldn't believe. And so one thing that emu oil is good for 
is like reducing inflammation. I only use this to moisturize at night because I really don't need the moisturizer that has the SPF because I ain't going nowhere. I'm at home. I don't need SPF. So I just use the oil. And I have a video all about why I chose emu oil, but I'm going to give you like a really quick overview. Emu oil is a natural pain relieving anti-inflammatory moisturizing oil with a pH balance very close to the human skin. There goes that pH balance again. Some of the things that is used for is acne, anti-aging, um, arthritis, bruising, burns, chapped lips, conditioning hair. It's actually used for hair growth too. And it says it here, hair loss, fibromyalgia, eczema, joint pain, yada, 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 thus and so. I go into greater detail in my other video. Now, I'm gonna talk about my exfoliant and it's really, really simple and don't laugh at me, okay? It's totally in a Ziploc bag, all right? But this is CNH. Pure cane sugar, that's the one. <laughs> I had to. And then this is the oil that I use. It is Napa Valley Naturals High Heat Cooking Grapeseed Oil. Yes, I said cooking. You can cook with this. You can put this in your hair. You can use it on your face. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. And I was told that the greener the product is or the greener the grapeseed oil is, the more potent it is. And I think that's why they have the dark bottle too to kind of preserve the oil. And so I get this from Whole Foods and a lot of times I'll put on Snapchat when I go to buy this stuff so that I can show you guys. I think it runs like between $7.99 and $9.99. So with your exfoliant, you can make it as hard or as soft as you want. I like mine in between because I don't like to feel like I'm totally like scratching my face off, but at the same time, I don't want it to feel like I'm only using oil. So I kind of go in between. Now, since we're on grapeseed oil, I'm gonna tell you the other thing that I use grapeseed oil for. I mean, like I said, you can use it for your hair and cooking, but I use it as a makeup remover. And I have a video and it's pretty recent too on how I remove my makeup. This is all I use, you guys. I'm talking waterproof makeup. I'm talking liner. I'm talking mascara. I'm talking liquid lipsticks. It removes it all. It breaks it down. And y'all know, I gotta tell you why I use the grapeseed oil. Let me tell you real quick. You can use olive oil if you want to, but the reason that I use grapeseed oil is because grapeseed oil is widely used in the cosmetic industry because of its emollients and moisturizing properties, which helps in making the skin soft and strong. It is also popular for its astringent property, which tones the skin besides keeping it tight, thus preventing wrinkles and other signs of aging. People also use it as a heat protector on their hair. Now, I do not know how I learned about this mask. I don't even remember, but it is Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask, and it is for deep poor cleansing. So I was looking to go as natural as possible. I mean, give or take, you know, the whole Aveeno situation, but I was trying to go as natural as possible. And for my regimen, I was trying to go with stuff that wasn't extremely costly because this is something, you know, I have to maintain every day. So I don't want to spend $60 on a moisturizer that I'm going to need in the next couple months and have to keep doing that. But I know that you can use this on your hair as well. I'm not about that life. That's too messy. Mm -mm. But I love it on my skin and I only use it once a week and you can use it more than that if you want to. But like I said, it's my preference. It sucks everything out of my skin and I don't think I want to do that to my skin like more than once a week. You can also mix it with apple cider vinegar or I guess whatever you want to mix it with. But for me, I just use it with water. Water works great. I use warm water though because it's a little hard to mix and get it real, real soft. It can tend to be clumpy when you use just water. But I was always a little scared to use the apple cider vinegar because I've seen people use it like on their scalp and stuff and sometimes people have a reaction. And I'm telling you, apple cider vinegar is very acidic and I just didn't want to put that on my face. So the water has been working fine for me and that is what I continue to use, all right? Now, I should have said this in the beginning. I should have given this disclaimer, but I'm doing it now. I am not a doctor. I am not a dermatologist, okay? I'm just letting you know what worked for me, and I'm letting you know that if you had some of the problems that I have, or if you have you know, certain issues with your skin, and you've tried other things that didn't work, I'm just sharing information with you in hopes that it will help you, because I've received so many testimonies that this skincare regimen has truly worked for people, so I'm just trying to spread the love, you know what I mean? Like sharing is caring. Hashtag sharing is caring. So thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up if it helped you all right share it feel free to share it i don't mind at all i actually appreciate the love okay you guys have an awesome blessed day and i will see you sooner than you think bye
you know what I mean A woman feels good when she's looking pretty I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Seeky Beauty Yeah, Seeky Beauty